Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. Really appreciate you taking time to check out this video. Do what the thing says on the screen right around there. Greatly appreciate it. So, the last beat em up of the series. I wanted to pick one not only was really, really good, but also, you know, something that I feel like is bringing beat em ups back to the forefront. So, this is River City Girls. Now, if you've never played any of the River City games, they are kind of the prototype for a lot of the beat em ups. They had a very similar style if you played the Double Dragon games, you know, it was a Technos. And the thing about the River City games was it had this RPG element to it. So not only were you able to, you know, beat up people and, you know, go around the city, uh, you know, handling these thugs, but you had this XP system in a lot of games. You always had this money system in the games where you could buy items, buy moves, you know, very similar to what Scott Pilgrim did. Um, that's where they got it from is the River City game. So River City Girls comes out and Steven's like, hey, got to check this game out. You know, let's let's see what's up with it. And being a River City fan, I'm like, OK, cool. Yeah. You know, I played a lot of those games much later than they when they originally came out, but always loved the concept of what they were doing. So we jump into River City Girls. Now, the first thing is, yes, you're playing girls. So what? Get over yourself. You pick between either uh, Masako or Kyoko. I play Masako, who uh, is like the tough one. And then you got Kyoko, who's kind of the ditzy one. But as you play through the story, you'll see that she's very much on point. And, you know, you have a basic light, heavy attack system. But then as you go through, you level up, you get different moves. If you go and you save up money and go to the different stores, you can buy additional moves. So there's always this incentive to keep going and keep playing. Not to mention, it is a fantastic story, the way they set up everything, um, where you meet all these different characters. You got all these cool cameos, like a Bobo Bo shows up. And um, if you remember, that's a double dragon villain, right? And so like just having stuff like that for me as a fan of all of these old beat em up games was really cool to see. Of course, the actual gameplay is very like it's fluid. It can be tough sometimes like the enemies will give it to you. So if you see us getting cooked in this video, you know, just just know we're really we're really trying like this isn't us trying to, you know, just get hit for the sake of getting hit. This was a game that we played as we have just started, you know, opening up the store. This was a really cool time for us, so I was really excited to present this to you all because this, you know, this game has a real special place in my heart just from that memory alone. And going through it and kind of revisiting everything, you know, the memories start flooding back, and that's what you know why I like beat 'em up games because you can play them, you can enjoy them. Uh, they usually don't take as much time and effort, so you can kind of jump in, jump out. This game is you know longer than your standard beat 'em up game, but trust me, it is definitely worth it. You can like beat up enemies and then recruit them to your side and then they'll come out and do like their special move, which is really helpful and useful later in the game. So definitely a skill that you want to pay attention to and want to make sure that, you know, you try to recruit as many people as you can because there's all kind of bonuses and stuff. There's so many little like collectibles and things in this game that I thought was really cool. And they got a sequel coming out, which uh, is introducing four players. So the first game is only two players, which, you know, for the sake of the story and also, you know, just gameplay wise, it really wasn't a big issue. But once you beat the game, you do unlock the River City boys who the whole purpose of the story is the, the two main characters are trying to rescue their boyfriends who they believe have been kidnapped. And you go around essentially trying to uncover the mystery while handing out some street justice. So excited to play the sequel wanted to make sure we brought this game up on the list so if you're aware of this game love to hear from you uh, if you are looking forward to the sequel probably gonna stream that at some point so get ready for that and as always i really appreciate you let me reminisce with you y'all have fun y'all be safe peace <laughs>